Hey guys, so before I start the January favorites video, I'm going to reveal who my uh, Las Vegas haul slash giveaway winner is. So I'm going to start right now. And so from here, I typed down from 1 to 115 all of the comment or the usernames of those who commented on my video. So 1 to 115 on Microsoft Excel. And then from there, I write a formula on one of the um, cells, ra equals random between equals 1 to 115, which shows all of you guys. And it is on row 84. So going down all the way down to row 84, the winner is Urban Icon 82. So Urban Icon 82, please private message me um, if you want to get your goodies. So thank you so much to everybody who... Uh, commented and entered my giveaway and, and hopefully there's more in the future and let's get to the favorites video okay bye hey guys so this video is gonna be a monthly favorites video for January 2012 and you know this bitch 13, 13. Oh, I even said 2013 okay I was just so like I'm not gonna put this but we had another take where I was talking about how I've been saying 2012 for so long even it's like the third week of January or fourth week of January and I still am saying 2012. It's 2013. Yes. The year of the... <laughs> El Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I, apparently it's the year of the dragon. It is. It is. But um, Crystal's leaving in two days back yeah. to Arizona so I figured we're gonna try to film one last favorites video. We have our favorites of um, you know beauty, skincare, and just overall things to make you pretty like motto <laughs> chilita so um, I'll go ahead and start uh, my first favorite is the Revlon photo ready BB cream um, I got this a f maybe like two weeks ago this is actually a new item um, that I saw in the drugstore and I'm not really a big fan of you know the BB cream the drugstore BB creams like I I, I included the Maybelline BB cream from Asia um, that I got from the Philippines, but in total I'm not really a big fan of the Americanized drugstore BB creams, but the Revlon one is not that bad. Um, the claim of it is, the first thing that they said is it's supposed to be, um, for sun protection, first and foremost, but for BB creams, you know, I felt like this one actually has pretty good coverage for what it is. Um, the one of the things that I noticed is this BB cream actually is a cream form. It's a lot thicker than a lot of the other BB creams from the drugstore that I've seen. This one's a lot more thick, not um, liquidy at all. And the color that I'm in is uh, light, medium, and this was about like eight dollars at Target. But the scent isn't that bad. It smells like sunscreen, and it has really good um, uh, light to medium coverage, and it's buildable. So. Um, and it's SPF 30, so this is actually a good product. I actually, people like to use their hands, but I actually, I use a brush to apply this, and I've been liking this so far, and it's the Photo Ready BB Cream, so, yes. Alright. I'm wearing it right now, too. <laughs> oh, okay, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> My... Did I say it was from, <laughs> okay. okay. Interrupting cow, moo! Okay. Moo? Interrupting cow, you don't know that joke. Oh, I... Okay. No. So, my first favorite... Um, is the Bare Minerals. They have a, they have a compact foundation now. So I love Bare Minerals, so I want to try this one out. And in the, the mineral, you know, the dust form, I'm a N30. But in the compact, I'm Golden Tan, so W30. So it looks like this. It doesn't have a little spongy thing, but... I hope the mirror didn't catch your dirty panties. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! No, they <laughs> of the <laughs> I'll hide them. Don't worry. No, no. So, um, yes. And <laughs> dirty panties. Okay. And so I just use it with, you know, your little brush thingy. And I'm wearing it right now. So this one, I feel like um the formula it's a new formula. It's really matte and it claims to last for twelve hours and I think it I think you know it does its job pretty well. Because I slept in it and woke up, I was like, oh, my nose is still mattified. Yeah. You sleep in your makeup? <laughs> no, I took a nap when I went to Oregon. Because oh. I bought this in Oregon. Okay. I was like, ew. Wash your face. Wash your face. 
Uh, my next favorite is a lip product, and I, I hardly have lip products, I feel like, for favorites videos, but yeah. it's the Burt's Bee um, Replenishing, come on, focus, Replenishing um, Lip Balm, and it has pomegranate oil in it, and one the reason why I really like this is, first and foremost, it's very, very, very moisturizing. Um, the smell smells like pomegranate, but a little bit sweet, and it has kind of like a, this red little tint to it, but it doesn't leave a red stain or a red um, tint on your lips. Actually, I'll put it right now. Um, anyways, I, I really like this a lot, and... It's 100% natural, it has sunflower seed oil, Sarah Alba beeswax, coconut oil, and pomegranate oil among the active ingredients. So you can probably get this at Target, Rite Aid, any drugstore where they sell Burt's Bees. Um, I know a lot of people like the regular Burt's Bees that just... It's the number one lip balm in the world! Is it really? Yeah. Oh. I feel, well, I feel like. Oh. <laughs> but um, this one is very... I feel like it's overlooked a lot and... Uh, underrated, so go ahead and try this out, and if, I think you'd like this, especially during the winter time when your lips is cracked. <laughs> Chappy lips. Okay, so my second favorite, it's also, is it? Yay! Um, it's also a lip product. You didn't product. focus on your oh. ugly face. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lip product as well. Um, I got this at the cosmetics store in Portland, and it's from Origins. So, knowing me, I love minty lip balms. Um, it's just a basic lip balm. It has, you know, Sunscreen too, and oh, mine doesn't have sunscreen. Yeah, smell it. See, and you know me about my mint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's it reminds me of um, Burt's Bees, but oh, it does. Mm -hmm. But it's um. How much more expensive is it? Because it's see, origins. It's nine dollars for oh. a lip balm, but it's worth it though. I bet that lip balm better have gold in it. <laughs> it does. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. So call me maybe. Oh, God. <laughs> Anyways, uh, my next favorite is you probably saw it if you watched my vlog video. I went to Sephora and got this brush. It is the <clears throat> Sephora Pro Airbrush um, Concealer Brush, and the reason why I really like it is because the bristles are very soft and they're they're tapered, as you can see. And I use that with in conjunction with my under eye concealer. This is from my other favorites video. <laughs> and it just blends the concealer out very well. It has this airbrush effect to it. And it, it doesn't feel too harsh on the skin like MAC brushes. Um, I felt those <laughs> MAC brushes. They're <laughs> porcupine brushes. But um, yeah, this is a little bit more on the expensive side. Probably like 20 or $25. But I think it's definitely worth it. A good investment. You can, probably, you can also use this, you know, as I said, on your under eyes, or in the crevices of your nose, or wherever you... <laughs> or um... if you're a giant, eyeshadow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or if you're a midget, body brush. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I meant little person. I need to be politically go, correct. Be nice. Um, <laughs> if, if you are a subscriber of mine, I, and you are a little person, I apologize. But, um... Yeah, big or small, grab this brush. It is. Size don't matter. It don't matter. Um, it's a it's a really good quality brush. So favorite. Okay. Um. Next, I have the Snars. Um, Snars. <laughs> Snars. <laughs> Nars. Um. Blush. I usually stick to bronzes, but I got this from the 500 point perk. So I wanted to try this out. It's the the orgasm one. Back up a little. Back 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 it up. <laughs> yeah. It's the orgasm one, so um, I have it on right now actually. But for, before I put on my blush, I use this like Maybelline, 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 <laughs> Maybelline, Maybelline like Dream Mousse um, kind of like blush thing as a base. And yeah, so I tried this out, and I actually really like it a lot. It's not too, you know, red or whatever. That's like one of my fears wearing blushes is that like you know it'll be too like red on my skin looks like I have a little rash <laughs> like I don't know that wasn't there already no, no. <laughs> anyways yeah. my last favorite is a fragrance and it is the Bulgari cologne in Soir if it can focus 
Um, this, I'm gonna read this verbatim on my phone. Uh, seductive and pre precious. <laughs> Bulgari, poor precious. home. My precious! <laughs> uh, Soir is the richest and most sophisticated fragrance of the Bulgari Pour Home collection, a luxurious and sensual evening eau de toilette. I probably butchered that French. Um, it has dar the notes are Darjeeling tea, live scent, wood of Paraguay, <laughs> amber, exactly. and musk. Um, yeah, it, it does smell like a really good nighttime scent, very musky, <clears throat> but not too spicy. I would say, um, I would definitely wear this out if I were going to, you know, out at the nightclub or going out to dinner for something fancy. Um, the bottle is huge. I used to wear this back in sophomore year of college, probably like, ooh, five years ago. Um, and since then I ran out of it and it was a smaller bottle, but my cousin, Isa, uh, got me this for Christmas. Thank you if you are watching. Um, it's a bigger bottle, so this one will last forever. Ever. And ever you stay in my heart and I will love you. Okay. Uh, they sell this at Sephora or Nordstrom, among the few that I can probably name off the top of my head. But um, yeah, if you are in need of a good nighttime scent. If you're stinky, <laughs> buy this. <laughs> Get it, it's good. Alright, last favorite. Um, I think I did one of my black paint pots a while ago for one of my favorites. This one is... Um, it's a big, it's called the MAC Big Bounce Shadow. It's in black diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> and it's, I don't want to open it because it's like going to spill out. But it's basically like a, a cream. Like, Have you used it yet? Yeah, I did. I used oh, it today actually. Oh. <laughs> it's like a, a liquidy cream paint pot. So I, I used it today. It's like um, good like for, you know, under bases or whatever. For your eyeshadow. Careful, careful, the lid thing might fall off. But yeah, it comes off kind of like, um, kind of dark gray and it has like some little like oh. glimmers of sparkly. It looks like there's green flux in here. A little bit uh, of green. A little maybe. Yeah. But yeah. It's not just like black and silver flux, mm -hmm. it's like green and blue. -ish. Maybe even gold. Oh, the colors of the rainbow. <laughs> Leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> Leprechaun. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> um, these are our favorites. I'll list the products um, in the information box below um, uh, with any corresponding links. Um, so yeah, this is the last time you'll probably see her in a long mm, while. Maybe she'll be in a vlog video, I don't know yet, but um, maybe I'll have to check out to see her maybe sometime soon. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, sub sub and subscribe. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys, or I'll talk to you guys later. You'll probably see her, whatever. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs>